What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Big Road 206 here with another What's That IO game. Little Big Snake. This game just released, I believe, less than two weeks ago. And um, I turned, again, the cheese ball onto it to test it out for me. You'll hear her in the background. Um, and then I finally got my hands on it uh, just last night, actually, before recording this video. And I'm already level three. The game's pretty addicting. Um, I find it probably see myself keeping up with this game a lot more than uh, any of the other IO games that I've tried so far but uh, let's go through the premise and, and see kind of what what you have to deal with first and then we'll go into a solo battle and then we'll see if we can't get into a battle with uh, Miss Cheeseball who's already on the the in the world as you could say so this is your layer this is your main hand screen uh, this will be your little snake if you click your snake, you'll see your available skins. I've unlocked some by sharing on Facebook and uh, gaining other challenges, which I'll show you guys those here in a minute. You can also gain cards towards skins, like on a lot of other games like Clash. Um, and there's plenty of skins to choose from. I've seen some pretty cool ones. Um, this one looks like Elton John. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm going to go with the Frankenstein because he's my epic skin. I think he's awesome. Um, also, on this interface, you gain... Um, chest through playing and every time you play you gain keys would open more chests but you have to again like many other games have to time open them or you can accelerate the opening with your red diamonds which you gain through achievements these achievements have different things like killing other enemy snakes defeat a large snake that's greater than 10 tons i haven't done that one yet I'm over 40 right now. but there is also a lot of other achievements that are able to give you red rubies or i think they call them rubies um to open other things in the game uh there's also an evolution tree which i think this is a really cool part to an io game once you register your game which you just use your email address or your google and um you could save your 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 progress so th these temples give you upgrades to your snakes you're fine upgrades to your snakes um i've only upgraded level three you open a new uh, temple every time you uh, get up in level nice and and so uh like for instance you start with the temple of energetic which is your speed your accumulation speed metabolism the effects of the orbs that produce in your body things like that there's also a shop which sucks because i wanted to be a vip but you can't because it's temporarily unavailable um but this is where you can buy coins with your rubies or buy rubies for real money or be a vip um, VIP has its own obvious, um, obvious upgrades, no advertisements, play with your friends for free. Cause you need 45 coins to play with your friends. And it looks like a 50% bonus on content chest, which is pretty cool. Um, up here on the top left is your level bar. I'm a level three I just got level three, just a little bit ago before recording this video. Um, and then these quests up here in the top, which will alternate as you complete them. Uh, if I get level four, this will, I can click on this. It'll give me a skin, it looks like. Reward is a usual skin. Um, once I jump in the game with Cheese Ball, I'll be able to get this one, which is 50 rubies. Or this one, visit the game tomorrow, and I'll get a rare skin. So those will alternate as you complete them. That's pretty cool. Um, also, as long as you register, those will continue to build up on you. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in a normal game first. Uh, you start this little skin, or your little snake, small as can be. And he follows the, the cursor on your um, on your map. Down on the right is a mini map. You'll see some crowns on there. That is the top 10 people in the game. Because um, currently I'm 412th. So there are 412 snakes on this map. Or more. And they only show you the top 10. The bigger the crown, the bigger the snake. Um, it looks like one of my friends that I met on here, Drago, has jumped in with me. Which I don't even know who he is. He was just in one of the other games. Um... Uh, that big snake just tried to kill me. Um, and so your your object is to pick up these little orbies, as Cheese Ball would call them. Um, actually, I don't even know if they actually have a name. But yeah, you pick up the little orbs to gain points. And let's see if I can get those. And if you look on the, on the right side of the screen is the um, rank list, basically. The number to the right of your screen name or whatever name you choose to make your snake is your kilograms or your um, your points. So for every orb you get a point. Um, there's little slugs. Let's see if we can't find a slug on here for you. 
Um, there's little bugs and other little creatures that show up on the screen. If you eat those, they give you more orbs, which are or bigger orbs, which are worth more points. If you kill other snakes, obviously their whole body will become orbs. So, for instance, if I kill a snake, so this is a slug, boom, eat him. So if I were to kill one of those snakes right there, they would drop giant orbs and um, pretty much whatever the size of their body is. So if he's 500 kilograms, 500 points worth of orbs will drop out of his body, which I can consume and then become bigger. Um, that's the point. Become the biggest guy on the screen. Um, it really is, you know... I think the funnest part about the game that I've found so far is that I like to go after the crowns. I like to go after the biggest snakes on the map um, and try to see because obviously I could just respawn in as a, another small snake. It doesn't cost me anything if I'm not really, you know, if I go right after them, I'm not like a thousand point snake trying to kill a 10,000 point snake. And then I just wasted all that time being a thousand point snake because I wanted to kill a bigger snake. So I usually go right after the crowns. Sometimes you can get out in the low-lying areas away from the crowns and just farm, basically. Um, the ladybugs are actually human players who have died already. From and they're called jujas. Um, if you eat them, if you eat the jujas, which are controlled by players, they actually give you massive amounts of points. Um, the slugs that I was chasing down, you accumulate those over the time of being alive. And uh, once I die, I'll show you the exit screen, which will track, you know, Whoa! your distance. Oh, is it Juja? Nice. Yeah, sorry. Um, it will track your orbs that you've eaten, the amount of kills that you've gotten as far as on other snakes, how many Jujas you've eaten, which are, again, player-controlled bugs. I'm going to circle this guy. I'm about to be a real dick. Yeah, he's done. He knows he's done. Yeah, thank you, buddy. Uh, so, yeah. Once you get bigger, you can pretty much pick on all these little guys and just eat all their orbs. See, I'm kind of being a really big butthead right now. Um, and Cheeseball just jumped in with us. There she is right there. Little girl. So, she'll probably just ride around with me until I kill somebody and then pick up and get bigger. And as you get... We've noticed as a team, you can actually, if you pay attention to what you're doing... You can actually use each other to really get far in a map. Um, at one point, we were both over a 1,000, I think, and it was pretty cool to run around with two big snakes on the map because we can go through each other and not die. See, like this. Ta-da! So, like, if we're going against a bigger snake, she can hide within my body so she doesn't die or vice versa. So. Yeah, <laughs> so, or, she, yeah, exactly, she can ride on my coattails. Or at one point, we were the same size, and I was right on the back side of her. But I was under her and it made her look like a bigger snake. It was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, I think my first initial impression of this game is it's pretty awesome. Again, um, there you go. Um, pretty awesome. Again, it's it's just like any other uh, Slither.io, Agario, um, any other game like that where you collect the orbs to become a bigger entity on the map. But there's also subtle differences in this one. You can save your progress. There's quests. There's achievements. Woo! There is... Um, <laughs> there's quests. There's achievements. There's... Um, there's, you know, other things in the game. There's incentive to get other skins. Um, which all save. All the progress saves as long as you register your, your account. And this guy next to us is pretty big. Oh, Drago's on our team too. So okay, we got three of us. Carla? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's not. I what? Tried. Not part of our team oh no he was the same skin you cheater so once you die it gives you a little little note which is pretty funny the tricky snake the guy who killed you doga or whatever has got you don't worry big row 206 the next time you'll be more lucky so you click and it'll bring you to your exit screen your game results so i got 1.6 tons which is um oh i set a new record i'm number four on my top 10 ratings cool um and then I've got four skulls, which was four kills. I killed six uh, slugs and got one juja. Um, I'll actually click into the juja so you guys can see what that looks like. Uh, my mass record of the day was 32. Um, we've been playing this for the last couple hours with six kills. Um, this is kind of cool how they keep track of this for you. Again, if you register your account, it makes this game 100% different for you. Um, so once you die, if you click on fly, it's called the juja game, you become a little ladybug. 
Um, and you can land on the ground, collect the orbs, and then if you see a snake come at you, you jump up. Another fun thing that we found out to do is if you come up behind another Juja and you hit him in the butt, you knock him down, and it fills your nectar jar, which is up on the right-hand side. You can also eat the orbs. And you could also eat the orbs to do that as well, but you get more points quicker if you knock down the other Jujas, which... And then if they get eaten, I found out you get more points. <laughs> Just kind of doggy dog world around here. But yeah, you land on the ground. You can kind of bait a snake into you and then you fly away real quick. See, like I found this juju. I'm going to sneak up behind him. Bam. Oh, I'm glitching again. And uh, um, Cheeseball is playing on a Wi-Fi connection on her laptop sitting right next to my computer. So it does have a little bit of lag depending on what you play. I... It's a browser-based I.O. game, just like everything else. So it really depends on how good your uh, your internet connection is and how fast the speed your 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 uh, your uh, little, little uh, bandwidth is on your internet. Woo! Big crown. That was a three-count kill right there for that guy. Wow. I was glad I just watched that. Oh, but this is about to get circled. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I want to watch all this happen. Oh, maybe not. But anyways, guys, so that's going to do it for our initial look at littlebigsnake.io. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave those comments in the comment box below if you want to see this become a series. I can already thought of a few ideas for different videos we can do. Um, either just a Juja day, just a duo day, whatever. You can do a bunch of different video ideas. So if you guys like watching this game, let me know down in the comment box below. I will definitely turn it into an own little series. And yeah, guys, uh, don't forget to click on the notification bell if you do subscribe to the channel to get every notification that we produce. We have got a lot of content coming out for you guys here pretty soon. Um, not only Player Unknown Battlegrounds, but I will be doing some more .io games. Um, Minecraft is coming back, I promise. I'm actually working on that currently. And then um, hopefully some more Call of Duty and other Xbox games will be coming forward as well. I'm also looking forward to getting some Switch games on there because I've picked up a few couple Switch games over the uh, since the holidays. Mario Odyssey. We want to get some Splatoon on there. So we got lots of content, lots of different content coming up in the in the world. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go over to Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Um, it would be uh, facebook.com forward slash Emergent Productions. And... Uh, don't forget to go over there and like us. Give us a like on that page. We're going to be getting back on that. Yeah, so that's going to do it for what's that? Oh, little big snake. Uh, again, I'll probably sit here and play this for about another hour until I get off my butt and do another game. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Bye.